Have you collected all of the orbs? I too have found what I was looking for and have not long since returned. I have located that which may be this world's last hope. Now I entrust it to you. The Scepter of Trodane! Careful with that! It's full of Hocus Pocus! Don't touch it! There is no cause for alarm. The Scepter no longer harbors Rapthorn's soul. Now it holds only the souls of the Seven Sages. Over the passage of its long history, the truth behind this Scepter has been lost. In the beginning, it was crafted by the hands of the Seven Sages under my instruction. And they gave it a name. They called it the Godbird Scepter. You will need it if you are to break the dark shield around Rapthorn. Only when it is broken, Will he become vulnerable? Only then can you fight him. I will fly you to his location. The Lord of Darkness will engage you in mortal combat. But you must endure his attacks as you pray for the power of the Scepter. When the four of you pray for its power, in unison, one by one, you will summon the souls of the sages to unlock the power of the orbs. I can give you no more advice. Do you understand what you must do when you face the Lord of Darkness? Then we cannot afford to delay this battle any longer. Are you ready? You must fight him now. 
Take the scepter.
My beloved kin, we sages have done all that we can. Now our dear world, our future lies in your hands. Protect it well. We will be watching you. Farewell, my beloved kin. Farewell, Imperia. We only went and bleed and done it! At last! I can finally go back and tell Bangers and Mash it's all over. And I have something to tell Alistair, too. That he was right all along. I only made it this far because I followed my heart. Who'd have thought we'd ever manage it? Hmm, should be an interesting anecdote for the ladies. I bet Grandad and the Orcs Princess would be having a whale of a time by now. They must be back to normal at last. <laughs> I'm half surprised the old codger ain't turned up to surprise us as usual. But even he couldn't spring up in a place like this, eh? <laughs> I transported your friends back to their homeland. Brave heroes. I 
will never forget your strength and courage. You remind me of the Seven Sages. You humans never fail to surprise me. It is time to land. Your friends are eager to see you again. Here we are. Now you can be with your friends again. Ah, there you are. Welcome back. I saw you all in action. My wonderful men. You were magnificent. I ain't one of your men, Grandad. Neither am I. And I'm a free agent. Hmm? <laughs> of course, of course. And I suppose you weren't magnificent either. Wise bird! A god! I, are you leaving us already? This world is in no danger now. My path leads to other worlds. I see. Well, anyway, we are in your de... Wait a minute. Aren't you forgetting something? What about the princess and I? Hmm? Just how long are we going to have to suffer this outrageous curse? Well... The power of Rapthorn's curse is weakening. It will not be long now. Really? Splendid! I feel much better for hearing that. Well, I don't know where your next destination is, but take care. Is it uh, proper to tell a god uh, to take care? I am not a god, nor is my real name Imperia. These are but the names you humans have given to me. I was known by a different name in the land of my birth. There I was called Ramia. But now I must leave. Goodbye, brave humans. It has been an honor to have known you. Goodbye. Granddad, you're sparkling! <laughs> it's taken you this long to notice. A personality as rich as mine always sparkles. Nah, I mean literally. Take a look at yourself! Mm hmm? Ugly guys. But you don't look no different. You look exactly the same as before. <laughs> what 
did you say? Are you blind? Dazzled by my striking appearance, no doubt. Wait. This is no time for an argument. Where's the princess? Where is my beautiful Medea? Hello, everyone. Medea! You're back! Oh, my beloved Medea! At last, at last, the curse is lifted. Everything is back as it should be. Father. Hey, look! My castle is back to its old self, too! Trodane is restored! The glory returns! Everyone! This calls for a banquet! Prepare a feast! Gaff! Hey, hey! Long time no see, eh? I ain't seen your muck since we polished off that fat geezer. Yeah, we ain't heard a flaming peep from you since. I mean, I know you're the strong, silent type, but still... I've had to put up with this one grumbling and moaning the old time. 
honest, goddess, his first words to me when he come to me gaff were, Do you think the gov's forgot about me? All right, Red. There's no need to make me sound so flaming soft. What? I'm only telling the truth. Uh, any, anyway, Gov, I heard the news. Edgar, eh? It don't get much better than that, does it? You deserve it, though. I'm well chuffed I can help you out on your first big job and all. And it's for none other than our darling horse print. Oh, listen to me. She ain't an horse anymore, is she? So we're escorting the princess to a wedding at Savella Cathedral, right? Oh, I don't know, though. Beats me why she's still marrying that charmless bloke. After all this happened. Oh, yeah. Nearly forgot. I was supposed to give you a message from this old minister I saw on the way over. Seems the princess is ready to deport now. So you can go and fetch her from a room like. I'll be waiting down in the courtyard then, eh? See you in a bit. Ah, it's been a while. I came as soon as I heard the news. So, it seems we'll have the honor of escorting the lovely princess. I just ran into Yangus, too, same as ever. I'm a busy man, as you know, so I wasn't too thrilled at first at having to drop everything and come over. But it is good to see the old gang again. Anyway, are you really all right with this wedding going ahead? You don't have to stick around if it's too hard for you. Just do what you have to do, my friend. Like I did when I left the Abbey. <laughs> Angelo's so wonderful. You know, he looks after children who don't have anywhere else to go. Don't you? He says he wants to repay all the kindness Abbot Francisco showed him when he was all alone in the world. <laughs> Isn't he just the sweetest man you ever met? <laughs> hey, no need to tell the whole world. I have a certain image to maintain with my... Admirers. Well then, see you in a bit. I'll be down in the courtyard taking a break. Come and find me when you're ready. Searching for you, Law and I. So, you take the Bellissima Principessa to the Severa Cathedral, eh? I, too, have been invited to the matrimoniales. And by the King of Argonia himself. But I think to myself, if I follow the wind here to Trodain, I can be reunited with my old ragazzo command. Another adventure together already! <laughs> Fantastico! Hey there, long time no see. How have you been? You look pretty well, that's for sure. But how come you haven't visited me in Alexandria? I've missed you. You know, I was planning to go off and live on my own, but my mother was so worried I ended up settling down back at home. I guess the time I spent away from her made us both realize what's truly important to us. We get on really well now. 
I'm not much of a replacement for my brother, but I decided to stay and look after Alexandria. With everyone's help, of course. But enough of that. Have you heard? Apparently, Yangus and Red have teamed up now and they're doing something together. Can you believe it? Last I remember, they couldn't exchange two words without three insults. I wonder what went on between them. Huh? You're on your way to pick up Princess Medea? Yeah, I guess it's time to get going. Okay then, I'll be waiting for you down in the courtyard. I suppose this is the last time I'll play the piano like this in here. I wonder if there'll be a piano I can play in Argonia. Thank you for coming. Is it already time to leave? I asked the minister to have you call on me so that we could take one last walk through the castle alone together, just like old times. I know it's not quite time yet, but I wanted to say goodbye to you properly, to thank you for everything you've done. The times I've spent here in Tredane Castle, with you, will be memories I shall treasure for always. I have to marry the Prince of Argonia to fulfill my royal duty. And you have to... Please continue to serve my father and protect Tredane just as you always have. Oh. So then, shall we go? It won't do to keep people waiting too long. Well, so this is Savella Cathedral. What a perfect place for a grand royal wedding. Excellent work, young man. You did an admirable job of escorting us. Your duty here has now been fulfilled. You shall stay the night at the inn and return to Tredane tomorrow. But I thought they'd all be attending the wedding. I'm sorry, Princess, but I'm afraid that won't be possible. Well, well, pleased to 
make your acquaintance indeed. I am Prince Charmley of Argonia. Goodness! Ooh, ooh. You must be Princess Medea. Ooh, charmed, I'm sure. One look at you is enough to make me forget all the other beautiful girls I've ever met. <laughs> I'm the luckiest man in the world to have you as my wife. Blimey. What's with all the romance? I didn't know you had it in you, Charmless. It's Charmley. Oh, aren't you those servants from the initiation? Hm. No doubt you're here because you heard the news of my wedding. Well, I'm afraid this is as far as you can come. I can't possibly have commoners like you at such a grand royal affair. It's not as if you're aristocracy or wealthy or, well, anything. <laughs> that brat is unbelievable. Can't let us in on account of our being too common indeed. The preening little snob. It's been a while since the initiation, but he is still just as obnoxious as ever. And yet tomorrow, he's going to be marrying the princess. Can you believe it? Wait a minute. The ring. You still have the ring, don't you? The one that belonged to your father. If you have it with you, go and show it to King Clavius. If he knew you were his nephew, he might just change his mind about this ridiculous marriage. Go and find him at the Lord High Priest's place and see what he says. It has to be worth a try. I gave the royal magic mirror to some time ago. What brings you here tonight? You look like you have something important to tell me. That ring. It's set with an argon heart. How on earth did you acquire it? Hmm. I must admit that your tale is enough to give even me pause. It sounds as if you truly are Eltrio's son. How else could you possibly know all the things you just told me? Hmm. If my brother had not left his country behind to go after your mother, he would be king of Argonia now. And if you had been born a prince, then I suppose it would be you marrying Princess Medea tomorrow. But those are just what ifs. Were a new heir to appear out of nowhere, the whole country would be plunged into confusion. You do understand that. I doubt that was your intention, however. But what do you mean by bringing this ring to me now? That Charmos is not worthy to wed Princess Medea? I grant you he is immature and foolhardy at times. But as his father, I want to see him happily married to a good woman. I am told that you have been a close friend of the princess since childhood. 
do you perhaps have feelings for her? I see. Then could it be that you seek her hand in marriage? Hmm. If you will indulge me, I shall tell you a story about Charmel's grandsire, my father, when he was a young prince. During his travels around the world, he met the young princess of Trodane, and they fell in love. Unfortunately for the young couple, however, relations between Argonia and Trodane were strained at the time. And my father's hopes of marrying the princess were dashed by staunch opposition from both royal families. As they could not be together, the couple vowed that their unborn children would one day marry instead to fulfill the promise of their love and forge a bond between the two lands. As it turned out, however, both my father and the princess of Trodane were blessed with sons. And they passed away without ever seeing their dream realized. So it became my wish to keep the vow they made to each other. That is why I proposed a match between Charmels and Princess Medea. Having sought King Trode's blessing, I cannot now simply change my mind. And even if I could, I would not willingly let my father down. I dare say you do not like my decision, but at least you understand it. That is all. You may leave. Rise and shine, Gav. The princess will be getting itched in a bit. We've come all this way. We should at least try and get a glimpse of her all dolled up. I'll go on ahead then, eh? I'll be waiting in front of that big church. Coming. The ceremony's already started. It's bedlam up there with all those people. I doubt anyone would notice you among the crowd. What a crowd! I can't see a thing from here! 
Bruce Callaghan as a woman he started. People are saying that the bride looks stunning. I wish I was more like her. I'm more interested in seeing the new Lord High Priest than the bride and groom, but it's impossible to see anything from here. <laughs> Congratulations, Princess Medea! Congratulations, Prince Charles! Hey, stop pushing! There you are, Gav. I knew you'd turn up. Right, this way. Follow me. <clears throat> well, we've got this far. Now we just have to take care of that knight. Gav. Go on, in you go. Honestly, where has the princess got to? What's taking her so long? What do you think you're doing? Are you trying to ruin my wedding? I won't stand for it. Guards, get rid of him at once. Wait. That will not be necessary. He has a right to be at this ceremony. I have reconsidered. You are the rightful groom. <gasps> Father? How can you say such a thing? I'm the rightful groom. Yesterday evening, the boy you see standing there gave me this ring. What's that? Is it an Argon ring? I don't understand. Only members of the royal family who've passed the initiation should have a ring like that. This ring belonged to my elder brother. It was Eltrio's ring. That boy is his son. It is only right that he should be the one to marry Princess Medea. No! I won't allow it! Princess Medea is promised to me, so I'm the one who's going to be marrying her! Pardon me for interrupting you, Majesty. I've just received word that the bride is now ready to make her appearance. Open the doors! Allow the bride to enter!
It's been a long journey. A lot has happened along the way, but it's all worked out well in the end. How curious to think that you would have been Prince of Argonia had things been different. <laughs> Fate deals strange hands indeed. Well, poo to those old promises made so many years ago. Now you two are free to decide your own destiny. Never mind that now, Father. Look, we're home. Home for good. <laughs>